Hi, this is Andrew with Eskimo TV, and I have a very fun guest with me today, Dr. Sivan Auerbach. She's trained in child development, psychology, education, and special education, and is one of the nation's leading profession professionals on children's play and educational toys. She's known as Dr. Toy, and is the author of Smart Play, Smart Toys, How to Raise a Child with a High PQ Play Coaching. Dr. Toy, thanks for being with us today. Thank you so much, Andrew. It's a pleasure to be here, and uh, it's great to talk about play and toys, which is my favorite subject. I'm happy to have you with us as well. We're going to talk about benefits of toys. What kinds of toys help children and adults become more active? Well, there are many wonderful toys that are out there that help children develop their physical skills. Being active is a very important um, opportunity these days. You need to uh, be active for good health and for your overall well-being. So being physical active like riding a bicycle is a really good idea. And children love riding bikes and um, playing things that get them active. So here are some suggestions of active toys. Um, there are balls of all kinds to throw. I know soccer is very powerful and a and great sport that children play at a very early age. Um, they play baseball and softball and basketball and so on. So there are all kinds of it. So for the young child, learning just to throw a ball is a really important skill. Learning to throw it into a basket is really important. <clears throat> but in addition to that, there are things like hula hoops where, you know, you're learning to uh, move yourself and move the hoop at the same time, which is really great. Um, there's also jump ropes, which are used by boxers, but also a very important skill for um, kids to learn how to jump rope and maintain your endurance. Um, so it's a great, um, and actually uh, uh, these things um, become great skills that uh, some people can do, for, you know, jump roping, very effectively, or do a hula hoop very effectively, or throw baskets very effectively on basketballs. Uh, skating also, again, um, starts simple, but becomes more complex, and riding bicycles in the same way. And of course, there's always wagons that are fun to push and pull and uh, load up with things. Um, <clears throat> one of the important things about active toys is developing coordination, being able to develop large and small muscles developing your physical skills and your balance. Um, there are a variety of uh, issues that are involved in playing out of doors. Children need to know the rules, um, making sure they don't play out of the road where they can be hurt by uh, cars or by bicycles going past that are not um, watching out for children. Um, the other very important part of outdoor play, which is not mentioned very often, but I think it's extremely important, is nature and experiencing nature and outdoor play related to gardening, uh, growing vegetables, and uh, learning how to uh, handle a garden, and taking nature walks. So all of these things are part of what I consider a balance in active play. Um, of all kinds, from simple to more complex. Uh, what are the benefits of board games? Is it counterproductive to play a board game with people who are not on the same cognitive level as yourself? Um, the board games are um, very important because they help children and adults learn strategy, learn how to get along with each other, learn how to win and lose and take turns. Uh, there are many games that are available uh, of all types, from card games to board games to puzzles of, and games combination and require different players. Um, so it's very valuable to play games, and I recommend uh, games as one of the most important aspects, uh, toys, include puzzles and games and books and reading and all of it. So in this category, uh, it encompasses everything that relates to play. And uh, board games are extremely important uh, for all ages. <clears throat> what is a cooperative game and what are the benefits of 
cooperative games? Well, the cooperative game uh, has been around for a while, but they're, they're not always as well known because games that are um, like Scrabble or Monopoly or games like that, um, there's a winner or a loser. In cooperative games, there's a, a goal that has to be achieved, but the group works on it in a cooperative way, kind of more the way the world should work, figuring things out together. Um, and not having to have a winner or a loser, but to um, find ways to solve problems and figure it out. So all ages are involved, and everyone participates and has a good time. So I'm a very big fan of the new cooperative games that are available. Um, there are quite a number of good ones out there, and uh, they're really valuable. Well, there's nobody better to talk to about the benefits of toys than Dr. Toy herself. So I want to thank you very much for offering your expertise with Eskimo. Thank you. You're very welcome. Thank you.